every time we see a tragedy like this in our state, people come together for Colorado to help each other and help everyone heal. Our Joel Hillen is live tonight. Joel, we saw some of that support right after the shooting last night. Yeah, Dominic, you just got to look, right? Look for these stories. And that's what we did today. And we didn't have to go far. Just one parking lot away right here at this Golden Corral. It became a refuge. There's police in and out. There's SWAT in and out. It didn't take long for the chaos next door to begin spilling over to the nearby Golden Corral. The police and the SWAT team started staging people and bringing employees over and customers who were stranded because they weren't allowing uh, cars out of the parking lot. Howard Walters is the director of operations for the restaurant. Everybody's scared. Everybody is, you know, in a tough way. They're either waiting for their car or waiting for rides. And that's when the call was made to feed everyone for free. As you can imagine, everybody was pretty distraught. So just the fact that we could sit them down, calm them down, give them something to do, sit down and have a meal, uh, to take their mind off until their ride showed up and were able to pick them up. Using their business to come together for Coloradans in need. And we just felt like it was the right thing to do. Now, Dominic, I had a chance to talk with Walmart earlier today about those extraordinary employees inside who stayed calm and uh, helped get people safe and evacuated. And uh, they said that they were back at work today cleaning and reclaiming that space that just a few hours before had been so badly violated. Live in Thornton, Joel Hillen, covering Colorado First. Joel, it's what makes the people of this state so great. Thanks so much. We